Hmm. Beautiful day, huh? Well, you know, we stopped doing uh, any business on the Nürburgring on 1 November because every year it turns out to be absolute crap weather and the track doesn't even open half the days. And then you get this, right? Now we have the perfect weather. And today yeah. is the last day that the track is open, 11th of November, which, oh no, wait, sorry, that was my birthday, 13th of November, there we are. Uh, the actual uh, day that this video shot and published. Uh, before everyone's going to panic like oh my god no more lap videos for half a year don't worry i have literally over 100 videos in the backlog so we can put up all the onboards so don't leave don't unsubscribe but i know some people always ask like oh this was not shot today i'm not gonna watch it well james bond is still a nice movie that was shot in the 60s but on a more serious note uh today we're gonna talk about uh i guess in general how the year was yeah, recap they... first of all who are you I'm Robert. Okay. Yeah, you got all these people who don't even know who I am now. Yeah. Huh? Who's, who's this fucking guy? <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Robert. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> you should start a YouTube channel. This I, is a good I, really should, I should start a YouTube channel. I should. I might. I've been wanting to, but you know. How was the year for you? Very interesting. It's been. A, it was the year did not go as planned. Yeah. Um, I yeah. think the last three years didn't go as planned, but for all the no, I mean, reasons. yeah, you you start with the you know the whole you know pandemic situation whatever you want to call that now that yeah <laughs> you have more information but you know 2020 was shaping up to be an amazing year for apex you know in terms of business and people wanting to travel to the nurburgring 2021 uh, you know obviously 2020 changed 2021 would have been great but again there were so many restrictions on travel and things no and had the floods yeah we had the floods i mean that was uh, shut down a whole season you know summer season for us um yeah. Uh, you know, obviously, that we weren't the victims in that regard. Uh, obviously, people were, and they're still trying to rebuild from all of that. Um, yeah, and then you get to 2022, and it's like, oh, Misha, this is this is the year. You know, we're gonna be yeah. we're gonna be back to Misha's got to turn the heat seat down. He can't handle it. No, um, we got T.J. Morley in the back seat. I'm getting taxi rifles. This is the last taxi lap of the year for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, this you, man. Have fun. You. Oh, we will try. Bye bye. Nice. Oh, I've got child lock. Child oh, lock. No. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. You're out. Okay. Cool. Have fun, guys. Bye, man. Yeah. Um, where was I? Oh, this is the year. You know, I was going to come up and run the GT86, and, uh, you know, I'd, I'd planned on, you know, going to Italy for a little bit, you know, in the summer. But other than that, being here as much as I could to, to drive taxi and do different things, and that didn't happen either, did it? Mm -hmm. So I think that, you know, really the year for us, if you talk about the, the crazy things that happened, the year for us started out with. Um, you know, actually pretty good with, with things finally being open and customers being able to come and have a little bit of fun. And then the GT2 met its demise, right? Yep. The GT2 crashed and then shortly after the GT2 crash, I ended up getting in an accident in the first Polestar. Yeah, because this is the this second Polestar. This Pol is the Star. second Polestar, which, which I just got. Like two um, weeks ago or so? Yeah, I think I got it three weeks ago um, and then I immediately left. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so it's only 800 kilometers. 800 so far, kilometers right? on it. Yeah, I've only oh. driven it like three times before coming here. Mm -hmm. um, so this is first lap, though. This is his first lap, absolutely. Yeah, this is actually the first time I brought it up up to the ring. Um, it's a great car. I love it just yeah. as much as the other one. You know, and I was very lucky to be able to get it as quick as I did. Um, but yeah, yeah, the accident with the Polestar. Yeah, the accident with the Polestar. But in the meantime, all that was going on, you had the. Uh, you had the situation in Ukraine, you know? Yeah. And we took in a ton of refugees from that. And uh, I think in total, we ended up with over 50 refugees in our places. I think it was 60 something by the time it was all said and done um, in different houses and our hotel down in Ramstein and everything like that. And, mm -hmm. you know, that was obviously really nice to be able to do. And, uh, you know, just like with the floods, being able to help people, mm -hmm. uh, it's a really negative situation, but it makes you feel good, you know, knowing that you're at least providing some kind of help to the situation, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so I mean, you've got a situation in Ukraine. The car doesn't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Get off this guy. <laughs> uh, situation in Ukraine, GT2 crash, then I crashed the, I got in a crash on the Polestar, you know, and I didn't drive. When was my first, when was my last lap? I came with you this summer. Yeah. And I did half a lap. And in fact, yeah. since May, when I had the Polestar accident, this is my first lap. Yeah, wow. First full lap in anything. So this is the first year you didn't get out your JK, your Yaris part of I, I think I did. I did enough laps at the beginning of the year to yeah. definitely get the JK out of it. Uh -huh. um, but uh, 
yeah, it was it was definitely not what I had expected it to be for the season. For people you know? who don't uh, understand what we're talking about, because you're either new to the channel, JK is Yaris Carte abbreviation, like the yearly season pass that allows you to have unlimited laps during public session Nurburgring, and the cost for this year was 2,200, which equaled uh, roughly 83 laps or something, or 77, depends on how you calculate, because the prices vary during the week and weekends. Uh, and speaking of which, the prices will increase next year for yeah. the lap. I mean, I've been saying for a long time, you know, nobody wants to see the Nurburgring prices go up, but what is To be honest, I'm surprised yeah. it took them over this five month. years. Yeah, I've been talking about it for years, like this should be the year, this should be the year. Yeah. And the simple reality is, is that as we look around, it doesn't matter what it is, if it's housing, if it's fuel. I mean, we've got properties that the gas bill has gone from 200 a month for heating up to, um, you know, up to 800 a month. Wow. You know, uh, for this winter, you know, just things like that that are just absolutely insane. And so that also means the things that we do for fun, they're also gonna increase in price, you know? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's only natural. And it's it's frustrating, it's sad to see, but of course, it's inevitable, right? Mm -hmm. Germany yeah. has a minimum wage increase that went from, you know, I think it was somewhere around nine bucks an hour up to 12 bucks an hour. Yeah. And naturally that's going to make prices go up across the board. Of course. You know, that's, it's just going to happen. It's just a simple economics, but uh, we're living in it right now, you know? Yeah. yeah. But for the rest, when it comes to the year, I think for Apex, with the exception of the GT2, <laughs> it wasn't too bad. I'm no, saying. for Apex, the exception of the GT2, we obviously got the M2 just brand new after oh, all, yeah. all that, and then someone decided to pile that thing up. <laughs> that was kind of frustrating, you know what I mean? Yep. Let's see what we got for the M4 here. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's all over it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's on it. Yep, every curb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, so for Apex, I mean, really, the, the, you know, the Cupra saw a couple little hits, a rear ender, little things like that. You know, those things happen. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I'd say for Apex, I mean, the GT2, I don't think anybody would be like, oh, no big, you know, not a big one. I mean, the GT2 would definitely uh, kind of carried carried its own weight for the for the season, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, is the car finished? Is the it... car is uh, actually finished. Monti Racing is doing just a couple little, um, would you say, fine tuning of body lines and things like that. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna have that all d done and it goes to Blackfish for the PPF. Yeah. So actually it's really nice to see the car sitting on its own wheels, drivable, they've already done test drives with it. Mm -hmm. um, it runs good. Yep. Uh, with the whole process we did um, checks of the motor, we replaced one turbo, the other turbo actually spec'd out perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah, everything's in really good shape. The compression uh, numbers are really good on the motor. Um, I can't, uh, I can't complain about the status that it's in. And we actually went a long ways. There were a lot of things that weren't to be replaced by the insurance. Yeah. Uh, you know, or the, the whole damage. And yes, obviously that means that insurance did play some part in it. Um, there were some things that weren't to be replaced by the insurance that we said, you know what, let's just go ahead and do this because. Um, you just want it to be right, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Just stupid little things like when you look at the uh, when you look at the uh, the front of the car, it's got these really big grills, right? Yeah. And you can look through it and you see the different coolers. Yeah. And I, you know, I said let's just replace the other cooler that doesn't need to be replaced because one of them had forty something thousand kilometers of Nurburgring yeah, like, on it, yeah. and the other one didn't, and so you could see an obvious difference between the two. So we said let's go ahead and replace those, you know. Yeah. Um, so little things like that we did just to make it that much better. And uh, I think it turned out, you know, I would say very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I can't complain about that at all. Yeah. So next year, we have our last year of the taxi license. Yeah, last year of the taxi license. We're working on all the steps to get that finalized and get everything ready to go. Mm -hmm. So obviously that's still a decision-making process. What cars, what do we do? You know, this year I really wanted to run the GT86. Um, I've got a line, actually, this is something new. Um, the GR86, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen plenty about, but not seen too many of them on the road because Toyota had some serious issues with that. Yeah. Um, uh, they've never come out and said why they couldn't deliver them, but it looks like there was actually um, uh, silicone in all of the oil pickups. Yeah. And uh, so they delayed delivery on those by, in some cases, six to eight months. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just got noticed that I can actually pick ours up next week. Okay. So, you know, now I'm saying, okay, do I replace the GT86 with the GR86 and make that a fun little taxi for next year. You know, do we, um, 
you know, I've got a line on somebody who really wants a GT86 that also has an E46 M3 that they'd love to trade me. Mm. You know, so there's a lot of different things that we can do in that fun, in that fun taxi category, right? Yeah. So we're we're balancing all those out to see, you know, what's going to make the most sense. Exactly. Exactly. No, but by, oh, by the way, again, also for people who don't know how the mechanics work of the taxi license, you have four companies and uh, those are the four companies that bid the most for a taxi license and you get the license for three years and then later on you have another round of bidding, so whoever wants or does not want anymore. So next year is just our last year of this three-year period, which is our second Yeah, and we can bid again period. if we want to. And yeah, go, go and we'll see from then how we, what we do. We, at this point, we even don't know what we're going to do next year, let alone for the... Yeah, we're, years we're, after that. we're weighing the whole thing of do we just make it fun for us where we have a couple cars that we can jump in and take people for laps. You know, that's really the whole idea of what we do here at the Nürburgring. We want it to be fun. You yes. know, this isn't, this never has been like a, um, you know, looking at the bottom number business type of thing. And, and this year was hard because for me anyways, you know, I didn't get to be here anywhere near as much as I wanted to. Yeah. You know, once I said, okay, Misha, I'm going to go do a lap with you in the summer. Uh, you, I drove the, the G80, the, the G80 M3 taxi, and yeah. you drove your Polestar, and we went to lunch. Oh, yeah. And we stopped in Odd now, and uh, I remember that, that, yeah. was, that was my half lap for, since May. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and with that, I was like, okay, so here we go, and September's my month, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to be out there. And then in September, a hurricane hit in Florida, and you know our house got destroyed, and we actually had to tear it down because it's, uh, because it's, no, it's no longer <laughs> structurally sound. From the hurricane and so yeah. then i've spent a lot of time dealing with that you know yeah um making plans and meeting companies and insurances and all these things and making the plan to tear the house down so that's how the fall ended up being so that all ends up getting severely in the way of us mm -hmm. getting to have the fun that we want to have here mm -hmm. so you know fingers are just crossed that some of these things can just settle down <laughs> yeah <laughs> some of these unknowns right yeah any uh, expectations or plans for next year well the main thing is next year what, what I really want to focus on is getting the rental fleet exactly where we want it. Yeah. You know, um, one of the things that, that, that has always happened is the taxi has taken, you know, really the social media, marketing, it's, it's taken a, a very big, you know, lead in the whole operation, right? Mm -hmm. But the funny thing is, is that people love riding in the taxi, they love riding in the GT2, the 720, the 600, all these cars that we've had all around. They've absolutely loved running those. But the people who we've made, I would say, the biggest connections with yeah. are also people who have gotten to drive the rental cars and have come back for this right here. Yeah. You know, for, for driving it with their friends in the car, driving lap after lap and making mm -hmm. those memories. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, we've had a blast taking people out in the McLaren. I've taken so many people who have gone and bought one afterwards. Or, yeah. you know, the same with the GT2. Uh, checked them out and they got with the MR package or who knows whatever they mm -hmm. ended up doing and the simple reality is that um, I I really want to get those rental cars up to a point where they're exactly what we want you know and, and not that we've been holding back on anything but thinking about what are people doing and what are people enjoying and one of those things would be just having you know a certain range of cars that, that you know speak to us the m2 has been something that we've absolutely loved mm -hmm. you know it's an amazing car so we want to build that car up more the golf uh gti has been a car that's just unbelievably fun as a, as a whole so we've gotten another golf gti two door yeah. you know and building that up with uh with seats and a, and a half cage and making it a neat little club sport edition you know what i mean yeah stuff like that 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 i really want to do so that people have more options to have a little bit more variety and a little bit more fun yeah you know that i think that's where i want to have a, a big focus next year or something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that makes sense. So there's a couple cars on my mind, a couple things that we're looking at, you know, that, we'll, that maybe we can do over the winter, talk a little mm -hmm. bit more about. But yeah, I think that's where, where I really want to focus, you know. Um, what what about a GRRS? You know what I mean? We've got that, and that thing had been trouble for us. Yeah, all the mid-shifts yeah. and all the... Yeah, and that's something that you should actually meet with George and do a video on sometime because... Mm -hmm we've done quite a bit to that and actually fixed all the problems yeah you know that we put we put new springs in it mm -hmm. and since we put the springs in it every issue has gone away there's no more valve float on the top end it just runs like mm -hmm. it should yeah it's one of those things where you can go out and you can zing it up to high rpms and you're not worried about it anymore and it's been flawless since then so 
little things like that perfecting all of that stuff so that people can just have a good time that was interesting yeah. did you see it jump <laughs> i didn't do that <laughs> okay <laughs> but yeah so i mean i think that's really my goal for that and then for me personally is just to hopefully be able to be here more and and have more fun mm -hmm. you know with you guys with the team and and you know with everybody that we're talking to now i guess yeah for sure for sure for me, in short, I mean, because we're already at the end of the lab. Of, of course, we're going to stay a long time in the traffic jam. Yeah, I'm not cutting. So uh, I'm no, not no, 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's been a fantastic year, for which massive thank you to all of you who watched all the stuff that I'm putting out there, who gave me their cars for to do laps with, to again share that excitement with all the people on YouTube and the other networks. It was absolutely amazing, and if we can continue like that for next year, I'll be absolutely happy. I have a couple of plans coming up for next year, so stay tuned for that. I'm not gonna like go too much into detail now, but we keep on doing cool stuff at the Nürburgring, maybe some other tracks as well. Uh, but people don't like stuff when I do another tracks. So you drive no, a 24, is... 24 hour race in Spa, nobody watches it. I do come next year, do T next day, do TF, that's what and I'm hundreds saying. of thousands. I'm like, okay, well, that's if that's what you want to see. There's something uh, about the Nurburgring. I exactly. Mean, you know what? When when you're growing up in the states, I've said it many times. You know what the Nurburgring is. You know the yeah. benchmarks of the Nurburgring. You know that AMG, you know, with their with just set a 635 lap record, which we could talk about that for a half <laughs> hour too. You know, um, and you know that because yeah. that's what's relevant. Yeah. And if someone says, "Oh, the AMG just set a record at Spa," they be like, "I don't care." Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. 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 Right. On that note, uh, thank you again for doing all the laps with us in our cars and your cars, and just having an amazing year. Uh, and uh, let us know what was your favorite experience with Apex or just in your private experience on the track. Just the and uh, yeah, you know, looking forward to seeing you next year. And as mentioned, the vlogs are not, well, like the onboard laps are not going anywhere. We still have plenty of those to, to put out. And we're going to do lots of compilations, winter building content for cars that are going to be coming for next year. So although the track might be shot, there's still going to be plenty for you to watch and follow. So thanks for everything and see you then. Bye. Bye, guys.